Hello my friends, Vladimir here. Sorry for being out of the channel for a very long time. I was busy with my paying my bills project, uh, but I'm back now. Let's continue my useless trip over a loafer. Welcome on the board. Thank you for being with me on this trip. In my previous video, my bike fell down thanks to cheaply made central stand. It's my fault, no claims to Honda manufacturer. They built this bike for delivery guys and postmen. Uh, this bike is not expensive, so there should be cutting on corners. Honda Cup central stand is narrow and cheaply made. And the right side of the legs is slightly shorter than the left side. And here's the sample picture. This is a ground line and this is motorcycle lines of inclination. Super Cup is a very lightweight, so it wasn't produced for trips and for guys like me who will travel on it with tons of unnecessary luggage everywhere, especially duffel or dry bag on a seat, which makes this small bike top heavy. I smashed headlight ring and windscreen, scratch mirror mount, fairing, and I bent my laptop aluminum case, which was in my backpack on the top of the dry bag. But there is a positive side, headlight itself is not damaged, windscreen is still in its place, the mirror is not broken, laptop wasn't so expensive and it was still functioning the same way. And I have already sold it. And there is nothing to worry about and feel sad for. I'm alive and life is beautiful and amazing. Fortunately I had the gaffer tape with me as a bunch of spaniers of all kinds for repair. So I taped headlight to the fairing and the whole hard work was done. Sometimes they say if you take anything for just in case with you, in one day you will need it. Is it true? Please write your thoughts in the comment section down below. I didn't have plans where to go and what to do. Thanks to Wun Wu Choi, one of my supporters from Instagram, he sent me an idea to go to a viewpoint, Chongmul Orim, a small mountain crater which is where you can see the whole west of the island. Thanks to Wun Wu Choi, I hope he doesn't mind of me revealing this place in the video. There is not so much people watching this video anyway, so this viewpoint won't be overcrowded I hope. I bought Bogota street bike and motorcycle shoes right before trip from FC Moto. Link is in the description section below. This is not an advertisement, I don't have any commission or payment. But for those who are looking for a vintage style motorcycle shoes, this one could be a great option. I definitely recommend these boots. I don't have any complaints about it. I don't know about how protective they are, but they are non-expensive, very well done, thick leather, looks like casual shoes and they are very comfortable. Weather in late June in Jeju was very windy and cloudy. It sounds like raining, but it is just wind shaking palm leaves. Thankfully, there are not so many thieves in Korea. I can leave my camping equipment unattended and without fear that someone will steal it. I'm kind of an active person, so I like to move and during long trips my body constantly needs for physical exercises. To feel healthy, other ways I start feeling pain in my back. Thank you Wonbu for tracking an opportunity. While riding I was passing horticultural farms, greenhouses and animal husbandries. The road climbed higher and higher up to the mountain and the fog here was actually clouds. Visibility was almost zero sometimes.
Air is so clean here, only this fact worth climbing up. Next time I will plan to make it when the sky is clear. Wise decision, isn't it? By this time I felt hungry and started to look for eateries. Three of them were closed for some reason. Finally, I have found Korean eatery with Chinese business owners. I ordered kalguksu, which is noodle soup, and dish was really huge, right side for the traveler. And by the way, the broth here is made of uh, sea products. The storm and rain was coming and we decided to move to hotel, which was very cute by the way. Unfortunately I didn't make any footage of it. And the door lock opened through the link, literally system sends button on your phone, you tap it and the door opens, like magic happens. The next early morning I moved to mainland. 
to the ferry pier. He said that I need to come after six, after five thirty. So it's too early now. Beautiful light storm somewhere. There is the tor torch. Lighting torch. Very calm. I grabbed snacks from the CEO convenience store for the breakfast and moved to the pier again. I thought I'd made a footage of trucks going out from the ferry, but unfortunately I didn't. I wanted to show how long the line of the trucks were being coming out of the ferry.
직접 받을 수 있나요? 음, 이해 하시는 거 같아요? 예, 예, 이야기 없으면? 이야기 없으면 네, 타 뭐, 오토바이 먼저 네. 여기다가 신고 여기 와서 결제하고 타표 받으시고 터미널 가실 거예요 그러면 여기서 해요? 많이. 네, 차는 여기서 해요 아네 알겠습니다 아, 감사합니다 아, 안녕하세요. The ferry was very simple and old, comparing to the Inchuan to Jeju ferry.
Rwando is an island. It is connected to mainland by bridge or series of bridges. Bridges in Korea are epic, it seems like they are all different in design. That's it for this video. If you want to support me, you can pour some fuel to my gas tank and coffee to my cup through Buy Me A Coffee page. Link is in the description section below. Thank you for watching, hit the like button if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys and girls in the next one. Peace!